Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University in the Century, issue number four or five. Okay, while I was okay with the previous three issues, and some of them were a little bit better than the others, whatever, this took it to a whole new level. <laughs> okay, so let's get into who actually made this book. This issue is Century World, part four of five, limited series, writer Jeff Lemire, artists Kim Jacinto and Joshua Cassara, color artist Rain Barreto, letterer VCs Travis Lanham, Cover artist, Kim Jacinto, and variant cover artist, Vanessa Del Rey. Vanessa Del Rey. Isn't Vanessa Del Rey like a food person? Isn't she on like Food Network or something like that? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Is she double dipping? Because double dipping is probably perfect for, for the Food Network. <laughs> Unless you're George Costanza. Anyway, um, the century was created by Paul Jenkins and Jay Lee. So this, man... Billy's trying to manipulate Cranio in the worst way. <laughs> and in the end, uh, Bob and the Sentry are separated, but they've switched worlds. So Sentry's out in the real Earth 616 world, and Bob is in the, you know, the, the Sentry world, basically. And they're trying to figure all these things out. I love Tony Stark in this because he's typically the big jerk. <laughs> And this guy who's just way smarter than all of us has the emotional maturity of a fish stick and the common sense of a squirt of tartar sauce. So he basically says to Misty Knight, okay, I'm going to go after him in my full suit of Hulkbuster armor and I'm going to talk to him. Bruh, I ain't talking. He barely said a couple words to him and he more responded to him than anything else. And it's just his exposition about, you know, oh, you can't do this. Like, so, yeah, I, I was kind of hoping that Tony would have been broken in half. But, you know, whatever, whatever. I mean, he's got he's got nanobites and Tony bites to, to fix him up. He'll be fine. Um, didn't happen, though. So Billy and, and Sentry going at it with each other. At one point, Billy is just hit. Like, he's got one hand, one arm, and he's just punching freaking Sentry. And Sentry's like, that's it, Billy. You're not going to hit me anymore. Shortly later, he hits him again. Dude, if you're going to say the term... I am not going to let you hit me anymore, or you are not going to hit me anymore. You kind of have to get mean and be playing for keeps because you're not going to hit me anymore. Psh, ow, man. Ah, it just, it takes away all your thunder. All the thunder is gone. All right. All your base belongs to us. It's gone. So that was a little bit disappointing, but that said, Bob in the meantime, isn't screwing around either. He's getting past uh, cranio and he goes up and he starts talking to, Dun dun dun! The void. Oh yes, you saw this. You saw this coming. You saw this coming. I didn't see this coming. But <laughs> he goes and he talks to the void, and the void in this looks like the darkness from over in like what is that? Epic Comics. What 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 brand used to always put out uh, the darkness? First time I heard of the darkness was actually in a video game. I played the, the, this video game called The Darkness. I owned it. It was, it was really cheap, and I didn't know why because it's. Freaking amazing video game. I wish I'd get my hands on that game again. I stopped and I I, I just watched as much of um, To Kill a Mockingbird as they would let me watch. And then it just stopped. I'm like, that's actually not cool because I was hoping to watch the entirety of To Kill a Mockingbird. That happened in the video game. So anyway, um, looks like the darkness. And just like, you know, I, I think that instead of keeping you at bay, I should have just embraced you and all three versions of us and everything that we are. So Sentry and Bob and The Void... And they form, and what happens? His suit turns red. That's really it. I, we don't know what else happens, because that's really where the comic book ends. The next issue actually shows him in the yellow, regular standard blue and yellow suit, going after whatever. Um, I hope he's not going to have a red suit. I kind of like the original suit that's up on there. I actually like the regular suit, because that's a cool suit right there. Um, in the interim, this was a really solid issue. It, Try to find a flaw with this issue. Go ahead. I'll wait. You could have paused it. Done. You couldn't find a flaw, right? Because it's a freaking awesome issue. That being said, I'm really hoping that uh, Jeff Lemire sticks the hell out of the ending. And I'm really hoping that Tony Stark gets a good punch across the cheese. Because just, oh my God. Like if he lost a tooth, all right? doesn't have to be permanent. It could be fake. You know, you can get a little fake tooth up in there. But the point is... I would like him to at least lose a tooth with a punch in the face. Just just a quick little tab, you know, quick little tap to the grill. Dip! You just because, oh man, love hating Tony Stark. That being said, solid comic book. I would definitely recommend getting it. Can you tell I enjoyed it? Professor Bell Comic Book University. Class dismissed.